okay Justin so let's start with opening the picture let's go to fire open I already saved the picture here so that's what we are working with so right now the toolbar on the left that's like one of the most important things in Photoshop you got your cursor you got different selection tools you got your brushes which are to paint over but switch back to the cursor we can't move things that's because it's all on one layer here so if we go back and we click Z button down here it creates a new layer if we use brush to them now we can open we can move it and switch it around we can also increase the size make it bigger or smaller just for what you need On the right here you have different layer styles, so click here, you can put it on soft light, overlay, screen or multiply, linear burn, just to play around. You can switch the colors down here with the tool color palette from black all colors you can imagine oh well, let's say brown it makes it darker okay also in the toolbar we have this thing here with just our text tool so with that it takes a little time because I have a lot of fonts click here creates a new layer we can just type just in here up here we can change the font Select it all, change it then. Let's use a different one, let's say. Let's go with this. Up here we can also increase the size, scroll it right, make it bigger, change the color to whatever you like yellow again now that you can put things above it it's always nice to search for Freddy's put a PNG at the end because PNG files mostly Are without a background. So let's save this. Open it up. Okay, so now we go to edit. Uh, no, not edit, sorry. Select, select all. Edit, copy, go back to this layer and just paste it. Now we have that. You can see it's above the text layer because it's above that layer here. So if we click that, hold it, 
drag it down. Nope. No, the text is on top. And if you want to play around with it, you can always look for stock pictures. Let's look for grunge stock, for example. Let's see. Let's look at that. I'm just going to copy it instead of saving it. Pass. Okay. Now, if you click Ctrl and T, you can increase the size. Let's make it. 150 white. Oh no, let's say 200 white. 200 tall. Click enter. Put it above the layer style. And now go again, like with soft light. Overlay. Maybe multiply. Just play around with it. You can also lower the opacity. Try and get the effect you want. So that's basically it for the beginning.